Good morning. My name is Joe Cashwell with Rotorcraft RC. Well, we have another pro case here to show, and I'm sure some of the hobbyists are going to want to use these also. This is housed in a Nanook 950 wheeled series case, which when we talk about wheels, that means it's got a retractable handle and a set of wheels on it like luggage. Very good case, very easy to move around. They do get a little bit heavy when you put dual power supplies and dual chargers in them. So this actually makes it easier for you to move it around. So a couple talking points inside this case is this has two Revelectrics dual power labs inside of it. These are dual channel 40 amp output per channel. So that's four channels at 40 amps backed up by two Meanwell 2000 power supplies. That's why there's two IEC receptacles on the deck. Um, so that gives you four times 40 amps output of charge. A lot of power. We're utilizing the Revelectrix bump controller inside this case. And what the bump controller does is it uses an RFID tag. You can give that LiPo a part number. Every time you bump that tag, it keeps charge count for you and the history of the life of that pack. So especially for the pro guys that are charging every single day, they can keep a good history of that pack and, and know the health of that pack. Now this case, the reason why we put the bump controller in the bottom on the decks now is we're gonna start doing the uppers on the pro cases as an option. Started designing these, we've got actually three in this line of series that we've got coming out. So it's gonna be two different 950 cases and a 960 case. So this 950 right here has two dual power labs in it, or the second option is to run four single PL6s which is a up to 6S 40 amps charger. So you would have four single chargers in here. Almost give you what this one does, except for this one will go up to 8S. Now the 960 that we have coming, and we'll be doing a video in the next couple weeks on that one, the 960 that's coming out will have four single channel PL8s in there. Um, there's a couple little benefits of going with single channel PL8s over the dual PL8s, the dual power labs. Um, but we're really not gonna get into that now. So we just wanted to show you the new deck design that we have with the bump controller integrated into the bottom deck. So here's the same version that we were just showing you with an upper put into it. So there's always an option, even though we've put the bump into the bottom, all it does is just give us a little bit more room into the upper to do whatever you choose. Uh, this would be considered a custom build because the, the customer has chosen their own private logo for us to put in. Um, and then they're going to do an Android tablet, if I can get that in without throwing it. So. We can do Android, we can do iOS, anything that you want. We've actually put little cutouts for people to be able to put their phone in because with the application that you can buy from Revelectrix for their Android or iOS, it works seamlessly with the bump controller. So you get, every time you take your RFID tag that's on your LiPo or your, or your battery and you bump it, you get the, the life history, um, up on the, on the tablet, you get all your curves, so you'll see complete graphs of everything. Um, it's a really nice system. So this is our new 950 Pro case. 950 Pro case with a custom upper, and then we're gonna have a 960 Pro case and a 960 Pro case custom that'll have the upper for it also. So we're gonna have the bottom decks already pre-made for whatever configurations that we have. That way when you order your case, if you want something put in the upper, that's all we have to deal with is the upper. The bottom's already gonna be prepped and ready to go. So we just add a couple things. Um, we've also moved the switch up in here. Remember, we used to have the switches on the IECs. If you notice, a lot of our cases, we're putting the switch in the upper. Um, it's just, it makes it real easy to add stuff down the road. So we've had customers order cases and three months down the road, add an upper to put into it. So we've been putting the switch here and we really like the configuration and the way this works out. So we've just stayed with it. You know, if you ever have any questions, always feel free, email us. RotorcraftRC at gmail.com, RotaryWingRC at gmail.com. Our website is www.rotorcraftrc.com.
www.thinkandgrowthpodcast.com. And you can always, once again, give me a call, 407-656-7881. I almost screwed that one up again. But anyways, I hope you all enjoy this video. So you can run this thing through the woods if you want to and just drag it right behind you. You never know. So a couple bonuses in this case.